Uh, so for the past couple of weeks, I've been putting audio up on my Instagram posts. So basically just doing an interpolation video and then adding some audio to it. Um, so I do this really quick, short video on just how to add audio using FFmpeg. Because um, it's way easier than trying to like add it to After Effects or add it to like QuickTime or other things. Um, or I guess, I don't know, whatever Adobe application you might use to try to add audio to video. Um, there's a really quick one-liner you can use in FFmpeg uh, that adds it really simply. So uh, I probably won't be playing audio for this so I can avoid the YouTube copyright restriction gods, but... Um, Trust me, it works, I guess. <laughs> you can try it yourself and then find out. Um, so which one you need is you'll need a video. Um, here's a video I have, uh, which is a two-minute sort of like style GAN interpolation with a big by GAN thing. And then you'll need an audio track, um, FFM, or sorry, like an MP3 or a dot .wav file. Um, I bought this uh, totally enormous Extinct Dinosaurs track from Bandcamp. Um, I do always try to make sure that I mention those folks on uh, when I post something on Instagram just to like give them a shout out. Um, and I try not to like use the whole audio piece so it doesn't feel like I'm like stealing their music or whatever. Um, these are usually for like short 30 second clips or whatever. So um, you'll need both those pieces. And then you're going to come over to uh, the terminal. And um, so this is the exact command here. Actually, here, let me just do this. Um, I'll walk through what each of these pieces means. Um, and then we'll sort of like uh, build this up as we go. So um, first thing you're going to need to do is you're just going to want to go to... Um, I always, it's always too many spaces here. Uh, so you just start FFmpeg, and then you go dash I, and then you're going to paste in the path to your video. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, um, which one was it? It was this. So you can go ahead and paste that in. Then you're going to go dash I again. So uh, dash I stands for input. So you're going to say input video, input uh, audio. So go ahead and grab uh, the audio track for this. Um, and then the next thing you need to do is, so basically this is pretty much it, is now you're going to like just basically create the video, um, which I always forget exactly what the command is. So I'm going to press up and just sort of see. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, so the first thing is we're going to take, you don't actually need this code, um, so we can remove this. Um, for whatever reason, I found this on the FFmpeg forum, and I found you don't really need it. So uh, what I do find that you do need is vcodec. Um, lib x264 uh, picks format on um, this just like formats everything correctly and then you're going to give it an output um, and at the end here i'm going to delete this for now so this is basically saying you know take these two inputs combine them together into a file that is called this so split teed um, dot mp4 the last thing you want to do this is really really important is you're going to want to hit dash shortest what that says is take the shortest input and crop it to that length so if your uh, video is longer than your audio piece, it's going to crop to the length of the audio piece. If you have vice versa where the video is longer than the audio, it's going to crop to the uh, audio length. Um, or sorry, the video length. Yeah, whatever is shortest. So that's what dot dash shortest or dash shortest means. Um, you hit return. Um, I already have this file existing, so I'm just going to hit yes to, re to replace it. Um, and this will go ahead and create your video. Uh, this is super simple. Uh, I will paste the, the code into um, the YouTube um, video description just so people can grab it if they want it. Um, I always have to Google search this. I never remember a single FFmpeg command. Uh, so if anything, this video is up because I'm going to be able to Google search it and just grab the, the line of code myself. Um, so once this is finished, which it should almost be here, um, I'll go ahead and play it and hope that the YouTube gods don't ding me. Um, so you might not actually hear anything if uh, you do hear something because um, I'll turn off the copyright so I can make sure I make like 30 cents off this video through um, through the YouTube ads. Uh, all right, this should be almost done here. It is. Okay, let's give this a shot. Um, so this was here. So let's hit play. And they're combined. Uh, so this was way, way easier than uh, doing anything inside of other programs. Um, so it's just a quick tip for you if you want to do this and play around with it. Um, like I said, I always recommend um, shouting out the, the person wherever you're posting it. Um, I often find that they like it or they send me a DM and say, hey, that's cool, thanks for sharing. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty good, good, pretty good trick uh, and it saves you a lot of time than trying to use some GUI application. Um, cool, so that's it for me. Uh, I will see you next time. Thanks.